quick one at that. This ball was a little bit to the right that time. Kind of rolled out at the pocket a little early. Great shot off her hand. She tried. Is it going to fall? Yes. And she's trying to enjoy bowling a little more. That was one of the things she talked about with us was enjoying the moment. She is right there. She's enjoying it right now. And mm -hmm. she also enjoyed some friends over the break. Well, her good friend's new baby was born. She wants to congratulate her on Luke Allen Provost. Meanwhile, Carolyn Doran Ballard stepping up in the seventh. She has four strikes in a row and leads by 55 pins. She got a little faster with her feet that time. You could see a little bit of pull through her swing, and she knew it when she let it go. She tried to recover from it. We'll take a look on this shot. You can see she pulled it back a little more because her feet got fast, so then she just tried to lift through it to get it out in the lane and get some roll on it. Well, leaves just a seven pin. It should be an easy spare, although we did see Lisa's ball almost back off going through the She's using that plastic ball, so we want to be careful. No problem covering that spare. We have a couple players that are approaching some big milestones. Tish Johnson, one of those ladies, she's looking to become the third woman to a million dollars, needs 14,600 to become that third millionaire. And she also now is at 198 consecutive national events, needs two more to tie me at 200. Are you going to do anything to her on that 199th to keep her away from your, <laughs> your record? I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm planning it. But I, she heard the show last week, and I, <laughs> I was a little in trouble, so... Nah, I, I commend her. It's a lot of work to be out there and traveling from week to week. Much better shot that time. If you're wondering what the other ladies are doing, Carolyn Doran Ballard, the next one in line in that streak at 169 consecutive. And Kim Adler, you're next in line at 135. I had no idea. I thought I've only been bowling for a couple of years. <laughs> Lisa Bishop now trailing by 34 pins as she steps up in the eighth. A Team USA member. A lot of the ladies out here did gain a lot of their experience as Team USA or as a collegiate bowler. Especially on that sport pattern because internationally bowl in some very difficult conditions and the last three weeks have been very difficult. And she got this one a little right, but yet it hit some dry part of the lane and it hooked up. Getting a little spotty out there where there's oil and where there's dry. Covers the spare this time, very carefully on the left side of the lane. Those red and blue marks were flipping over just in the right place. <laughs> Scoreboard, Carolyn Doran Ballard really lined up into the pocket and carrying pretty well at this point. You know, we saw those balloons, Kim, and I understand that um, they actually took some of the players out on balloon rides this morning. Did you go? I did not go. No, I was getting ready for the television show. Good answer. Yes. Four pin for Lisa Bishop again coming up high. And again, we'll change the ball to shoot at the four pin. Some of the other finishers in match play this week. Kelly Kulik of Union City. She's made two shows so far this year. Kathy Doran Lizzie, she was my partner the first three weeks and now out doing the graphics for you. Stacy Ryder from La Habra, California, back for a few weeks on tour. Welcome back. And Rhonda Buckley from Mesa, Arizona. This is her first pro event, her first top 24. Congratulations, Rhonda. That should be inspirational to any of you thinking about coming out and bowling with the ladies. Well, this match is pretty much all but over. Carolyn Doran Ballard in, in great control here. She can still shoot 259 if she strikes out. Del Ballard, her coach and husband, looking on. He's looking a little more relaxed right now because this match is basically over. Another strike for Carolyn Doran Ballard. You saw Dell. He was conversing with Chris Schlemmer, the uh, ball representative for Storm Products. And 
uh, these two ladies competing with those products in this match. And the ball refs having a little bit of match of their own in the back, I think. Maybe. Must be Carolyn's lucky necklace. Little shameless plug for me there. Did you design that or make that one? I did. You uh, have a jewelry business going. I do. It's beautiful. And a, a beautiful game here, bold by Carolyn Dorn Ballard. Big game for Carolyn, 248. Nothing like starting the tournament leading and ending the tournament leading. Oh, that's, yes, because when someone's led the entire tournament, they really should win. So that's four for four on top seeds this week. So I imagine there'll be a big battle in position round next week for that top seed position. Lisa pausing for a moment there. And pulled very well this week, and I'm sure we'll see her back again on the telecast. But it was Carolyn Dorn Ballard this week, 11 years ago, Albuquerque Crown Leanne Barrett, and Carolyn said, step aside, it is my turn. She wins her second title of 2001. We'll be back with more. Albuquerque Open are being brought to you by the Women's International Bowling Congress, striving for 86 years to identify and fulfill the needs of women bowlers. By Travelodge Hotels, first with families, relax with Travelodge. And by PWBA.com, the official site for news and information about the Professional Women's Bowling Association. There's the champion of the Albuquerque Open, Carolyn Doran Ballard, final score 248 to 184. And Diana Silva, co-proprietor here at Silva Lanes of Albuquerque, and the 1979 U.S. Open champ has a beautiful trophy. And we will make sure that sits up right. And here comes Art Silva, co-proprietor here, and also a PBA member with the check. Carolyn, the great bowling super. On behalf of Silva Lane's bowling centers, all my great staff that helped this week, and our great city of Albuquerque, I'd like to present this first place check to you in the amount of $9,000. You earned it. You enjoyed it. You enjoy it, it nice. and have a great time here. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'd like to. I'd like to thank Art and Diane Silva and their fantastic staff. I, I don't know what other word can say it. Uh, we fended for nothing this week, and I hope we come back here nine times next year. I'd like to also thank the Women's International Bowling Congress for being one of the greatest supporters of the sport of bowling. I'd like to thank Ebonite for making great equipment so that I can be the bowler I am. And I'd also like to thank all of the bowlers out here on the PWBA Tour, especially the four other girls that I bowled with tonight, especially a Wendy McPherson, because you, you can all talk about Bowler of the Year, but it's because of them that I strive to be better. Thank you. Congratulations again to Carolyn Doran Bauer, the first two-time champion this year. Be sure to join us again next Monday night, a little later, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, for the Wheelchair Awareness Classic. Jan Schmidt saying so long from Albuquerque, New Mexico.